Hi, I'm Caitlin and I was the production designer and the costume designer for Momentum. In this section of the DVD I will be answering question one. In what way does your media product use, develop and challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Enjoy! Fundamentally we had decided that our teaser trailer should fall into the genre of sci-fi thriller. As a result of our chosen genre, we researched into other films of similar genres and the elements that were portrayed in their teaser trailers. We began by looking at Inception, iRobot, Terminator Salvation and The Bourne Supremacy. Inception's teaser trailer showed dramatic flashes of significant objects and scenes from the upcoming film. We took inspiration from this by including an establishing shot, followed by a shot of our antagonist looking out of the window at his empire, something which is also shown in iRobot. These are accompanied by deep, booming sound effects to add extra impact to the footage. We also took inspiration from the style of text used in Inception's teaser trailer. They had used a simple metallic text for the titles, which we incorporated into our own trailer. We used a grey metallic font called Helvetica to show features such as the director and a short catch line to add extra dramatic effect. Inception also used a short statement rather than the usual rhetorical question to attract their audience. Your mind is the scene of the crime is split into two shots. We use this technique in our own teaser trailer by stating to the audience, in one man's hands lies the past, present and future, thus raising questions in the audience's mind and enticing them to watch the film. We also took inspiration from iRobot. The initial idea of using clones sprang from the iRobot trailer, however, rather than using obviously abhuman metallic robots, we wanted to show them through a human form, similar to the Terminator. For this superhuman man idea, we had to create a way of showing that there was more than one of the same person. Our initial attempt to do this after our experimentation phases did not meet the conventions or the standards that we required for our TC trailer. The costume of the clone was inappropriate and the faces were not looking directly at one another. As a result, we refilmed this shot until we achieved the desired effect after altering the costume and planning where the actor should be looking. However, one of the main features that was apparent in the iRobot trailer was the use of robots and futuristic buildings, machines, etc. Although our trailer is of the sci-fi genre, we wanted to take a much more implicit approach, using subtle hints to connote themes of a futuristic feel, such as the metallic container, rather than running the risk of our trailer seeming tacky and gimmicky with fake guns and spaceships. Short clips of dialogue was an element which we used to create a sense of drama and tension. As the pace of the film speeds up, the dialogue becomes more quick and dramatic. For example, our antagonist shouting, Are you hearing me? Shut him down! This was inspired by the short clips of dialogue in the Bourne Supremacy and the iRobot trailers, which also used these short diegetic voice clips to increase the dramatic effect. For example, Jason, I don't want you to do this. We don't have a choice. We wanted the overall feel and atmosphere of our trailer to reflect the way that the genre is represented in similar teaser trailers. After looking at the trailers for The Terminator Salvation, iRobot and Inception, we recognised that the main colours which dominated them were fundamentally dark tones of blue and grey as well as black. To incorporate this into our own trailer, we edited the initial shots of the gherkin and of the antagonist, making the blue tones darker and increasing the contrast to mimic the main colours and tones shown in the teaser trailers that we had taken inspiration from. We also did this to create an atmosphere of eeriness, representing the dangerous man within the footage. We also created this deep colour scheme by using our chosen setting with dominant colours of yellow and blue. The doors which are seen in the hallways of our main location are yellow with blue detailing. To further mimic the sci-fi colour scheme, we used a number of shots with the light switched off and the only source of light being a handheld torch. This resulted in the dark, mysterious shots of footage set in, seen in Inception and the Terminator trailers. Additionally, we wanted to use the futuristic metallic tones that were shown throughout iRobot. To try and use this within our own trailer, we captured a continuous shot which was cut up of the protagonist in an isolated metallic container, where the only surrounding colour is silver, therefore achieving a typical sci-fi futuristic feel. The selection of our music and sound effects was based on which piece of music would most fit the footage. Depending on factors such as the style of sound, the implications behind it and the feelings and thoughts evoked by it. We began by using deep booming sound effects for our initial shots to add an eerie and threatening impact to the footage. We then looked at music, which our inspirational trailers had used. They all seemed to have minimal music and soundtrack, something which we decided to challenge with our trailer. We wanted to make our trailer seem exciting, an aspect for which our chosen soundtrack will play a vital role. As the music reaches its peak alongside the footage, we added a deep, sudden sound effect. 
as the doors open, representing the doom and negativity behind these doors. Hi, I'm Nicole and I was director of photography and editor of a new film Momentum. In this section of the DVD I will be answering question number two. How effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary text? And here it is. This is the promotional poster in the magazine cover which we have created for our new film Momentum. The poster is seen to effectively complement the teaser trailer as well as further reinforcing our chosen genre of sci-fi and thriller through the overall use of the colour scheme. We have decided to use metallic shades throughout the poster as it enables us to suggest the futuristic aspect as well as its importance within our teaser trailer. Through further desaturating the photographs within the poster as well as modifying the colour balance of the shadows, midtones and highlights to a suitable shade of grey, we were able to achieve cool tones which not only successfully complement the silver title of Momentum but also reflect the inside of the containers seen in the teaser trailer and their metallic surface. We have additionally reinforced the aspect of Thriller within our teaser trailer through the chosen lighting style. By placing the light source above the antagonist, we were able to achieve defined shadows and contours on his figure, which emphasised a sense of mystery surrounding his character. As it is only a teaser poster, we have decided to keep our antagonist's identity hidden, which is not only similar to the beginning of the teaser trailer, where only one side of his face can be seen, but also can raise questions within the audience's mind which would encourage them to go and see the movie. Additionally, the contrast between the light and the shadows was inspired by the corridor scene where the protagonist paces around the dark corridors with a torch, enabling him to reveal the large amount of doors presented, which gradually builds up to suspense within our teaser trailer. In order to cleverly represent the key characters as well as subtly hinting at the overall storyline, we have decided to use the idea of chess pieces. As the king is seen as a figure of power, by bringing this particular chess piece to the foreground of the poster, we are able to show the authority their antagonist holds, as well as being the reason behind the creation of clones. This can be seen within our teaser trailer, where the antagonist is gazing out of the gherkin at his possessions. The black colour of the king is able to connote the evil and the dark intentions of our antagonist, which is further exposed by the frustration and anger portrayed by his character at the climatic point of our teaser trailer. In addition, we have decided to represent the clones through pawns placed beside the king, which similarly emphasise the power of the antagonist and an unimportance of the clones. As pawns are seen as the most common chess pieces, it enables us to suggest the large number of clones that continue to be produced. This idea could be seen by the test tubes in the science lab, as well as the long corridors of doors with clones placed behind each one. In order to convey a clear colour contrast between the clones that are completely under the control of the antagonist and the chosen clone which fights against him, we have used the colours of black and white. The black pawns show the antagonist's dark influence on the clones, whereas the white colour enables us to portray the sense of vulnerability, as well as being unaware of the world around us, which is clearly shown through the shock of the protagonist coming face to face with his own clone. During the creation of our magazine cover, we were particularly inspired by the Empire magazine, which through the detailed research enabled us to notice the common use of red amongst the titles that are also presented throughout a large variety of magazine covers. Therefore, in order for our magazine cover to appear like a real media product, we have decided to follow this convention within our title, Capture. Furthermore, we chose to incorporate blue into the colour scheme of the magazine cover, which is one of the dominating colours alongside yellow in the doors within our teaser trailer. The large number of doors with clones placed behind each one is the key element within the storyline of Momentum, which we have therefore decided to reinforce through the blue background of the magazine cover. In addition, with modifying the colour balance in the opening shot of the gherkin, adding cool blue tint to the footage emphasises the importance of this specific colour, which as well as the metallic, enables to convey the elements of sci-fi within our teaser trailer. As well as this, we have included the colours of black and grey within the text of Sci-Fi Takes Over, which complements the colour scheme and the font of the transitions used within the teaser trailer, such as In One Man's Hands. This can additionally be seen with the overpowering dark black shadows in the metallic font in the teaser poster, which helps to effectively combine all three media products as well as reinforce our chosen genre of sci-fi thriller. Likewise, through the sci-fi takes over as well as the marketed films of World War Z, After Earth and Oblivion, 
were able to make the magazine genre-based and therefore relate all the elements within our magazine cover to the dominating key genre of sci-fi thriller within the storyline of our teaser trailer. Through the photograph within our magazine cover, we have presented our antagonist as an actor rather than the evil and dark character that he portrays in our teaser trailer. Despite presenting the same character within both posts and the magazine cover, we have decided to largely contrast these photographs, as the antagonist is now seen to grab his tie and laugh, which enables him to break out of the villainous character portrayed in the teaser trailer that we have further emphasised through the text Roman Sharma shows us the soft side. In order to successfully combine both ancillary texts and therefore being able to market all the texts as one product, we have used the same metallic title of Momentum within our magazine cover which is also seen within the teaser poster. As a whole, both ancillary texts are seen to complement our main product through large yet in some cases subtle similarities amongst the texts that will help us market all three products as one.